Let's look at some of the measurement and analysis tools that are helpful to 5 Series B MSO users who are looking for more features than a traditional oscilloscope might offer. First off, this scope has an advanced trigger engine that enables 10 different trigger types, which can be applied to all eight channels. Surprisingly, not all eight channel oscilloscopes have this same capability. Decoding serial communications like I squared C, 8B, 10B, CAN, LIN, FlexRay is fast and easy. Add a bus decode results table and configure your view to view packet details and quickly locate and debug errors. Turning on history mode uses extended memory, allowing you to capture many trigger events. You can stop when you see something interesting and quickly review those prior events. We can also use Visual Trigger to easily construct complicated trigger logic. Simply draw a box over an area of interest and select if you want to ensure that signals enter that region or are absent from that region. You can keep adding regions as needed and update their settings at any time. Now, let's switch over to talking about measurements. In this example, I'm looking at a spread spectrum clock. It's easy to just drag and drop a measurement to determine the clock frequency and also include advanced statistics. And by adding a results table, we can view the measurement mean, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation for both the active acquisition and the entire measurement population. We can also add a histogram to visualize the measurement variation. And rearrange these views so that our screen space is optimized. And we can quickly clear away things when they're no longer needed. When you think that signal behavior has a repeatable nature, it's easy to add a time trend and confirm that assumption. Here's an example where a spread spectrum clock frequency is triangularly modulated. By using horizontal and vertical cursors, we can quickly determine that the clock varies from 97 megahertz to 100 megahertz in approximately 13 microseconds with a period of 26 microseconds. And when you have a long acquisition like this one, it's easy to zoom and scroll through the entirety of the recorded signal. And when you know what you're looking for, like a pulse width less than 6.24 nanoseconds like in this example, you can also use the search functionality to pinpoint and cycle through each occurrence that meets your criteria. Notice that each occurrence is marked with a pink triangle in the zoom window. And when you're looking for signal anomalies that fail either mask or limit test conditions, it's easy to configure and customize by either drawing a mask region or a limit test that's based on a golden waveform. Your scope can be upgraded at any time to enable capabilities beyond what we have discussed in this video. And those available options can be reviewed in the Help License Option menu.